Okay. Uh, so, Mr. Almodovar, shalom. Hello. How are you? I'm uh, very good. How are you? Okay. <laughs> happy to be in front of your camera. <laughs> no, I'm happy that you're here. I have to ask, watching the film, mm -hmm. I couldn't help feeling I'm watching your life story as you tell it. How much of the film is, is, is real, is you, is your story, and how much is fiction? Uh, well, you know, it's, it's not, of course, I mean, it's obviously it is based in my own life and in my own experience. Uh, but uh, let's say that, that 40% is really based in my life and the 60% uh, is fiction, but mixed, very mixed together. And, um, but, you, you know, in any way, of course, I, I'm reflected in, 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 in all the movie, in the whole movie, but you cannot take it literally uh, because I, I made mine, I mean, the memories of the people around me. So, for example, when I'm talking about my mother, uh, that memory belongs to my sister and, and other, other, other parts that are based, like, in my life, they, I took it from friends that they were around me. But it's true that the, the, the movie is the movie that I that I feel that it, I think is more autobiograph autobiographical than ever. And I have to ask, this is probably, as you say, your, your most personal movie. How was working on it? You know, you, you felt exposed? You felt like you're giving yourself away to the audience? Uh, well, at the beginning, you know, that, that, that kind of fear appears when I was writing at the beginning. At the beginning when I discovered that really I'm thinking about myself and this is like the reference is just myself for the main character. Then I got a kind of vert vertigo, you said yeah. vertigo? Vertigo that, and I asked myself, I really want to keep on uh, in this direction or, and uh, yes, it was a minute of hesitation. Once you, I mean, you overcome um, that doubt. Then it was just I was writing on a script. Uh, usually, I mean, I start uh, basing in things around me in real, in reality. But it was the same. I mean, it was reality, but the the, the, the difference it was that it was my reality. Mm -hmm. But uh, when I was, I mean, the rest of the of the work, I I never had the feeling that I was doing my life. Uh, when I direct Antonio or anyone or any or, or any sequence that I was very represented, I I always felt like I was a director doing a movie and with a distance. Mm -hmm. um, but but it's true, that, you know. That really, I mean, I'm projected very much in the movie. Yeah, and I have. To and ask. it was that difficult. I mean, uh, for me, it was just to make another movie. Yeah. Uh, it was not any difference with the other movies before. But, but why now? Why uh, deciding uh, to, to make such a personal movie now at this part of your life and career? I don't know, really. I mean, this is, uh, I don't know. I, obviously, I, I have the necessity of doing it because if not, I didn't start writing about myself. But I don't know the, 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 the reason. Perhaps, you know, in this past, the passing of time uh, that I'm getting older, that I that now I really I can I can face my reality very directly yeah. like now and also my memories because it's very much about the memories and uh, I think it's a question of time that I reach uh, old enough to talk about this mm -hmm. and the result it was I mean also it was very like therapeutic yeah. Uh, but I didn't try, I didn't think at the beginning that could be like that. I mean, I, I, I never thought to make a movie that could be a good therapy for me. You, you don't make movie for that. I make movie because I want, I'm passionate uh, to, to tell one story. Mm -hmm. But uh, I mean, in this case, I mean, I was part of it. And you know, you're talking about getting old. It's a very strong motif of the movie, getting old. And, and speaking to actors, for example, they say that the movie industry is a very difficult industry to get old in. I wonder if it's the same for you as a, as a director, as, as a writer. Do you find that it's hard to get old, to, to grow old I in mean, the movie? I for mean, us, for us it's less difficult because, I mean, we don't have to put our faces in the cover of the magazines or in the... Uh, it, it's more related with the actors. 
uh, it's difficult because uh, I mean the writers usually don't write, or especially with women, they they, they don't write um, with female characters. I mean since the forties. I mean forties is like the the frontier, the limit. The limit yeah. I mean it's like women; they are not <laughs> at least in the cinema uh, after forties. So I think that is is very unfair. Um, that is changing now, uh, fortunately. Um, but it's true that usually, I mean, the, um, I mean, we we address our stories to the young people, and uh, perhaps I mean the writers think that the young people they are not interested in really just to see how the old people lives. Um, I don't know, but I think it's for for me it, as the as the time that I'm getting older. Um, I'm much more interested in character of my own age. Mm -hmm. And, you know, other than the, the age and getting old, this movie talks about fear. Fear of not yes. being creative. Yeah. Is that something that you feel? Even now, after everything you've done, are you afraid you're not going to be able to make another movie? Yes, this is a ghost that I, that I, that I feel the presence really? close to me. Yeah, fortunately, I always have many stories in my desk. So, uh, but but that fear exists. Uh, in one hand, not to be physically ready, because to shoot is a very physical work. Um, this is something because I am up operation in my back that really sometimes you know it's very hard to be just standing up like now. Uh, but also, you know, the, yeah, the sensation that the ideas you have. They are not news for you, that you already uh, worked before with that idea. This is this is a real fear that I that I have, and um, well, you have to struggle with with these things. This is part also of the adventure of creating a movie. Is it also a fear of being forgotten? A fear of being disliked? That your fans would see a new movie and say forgotten by the people? Yes. No, 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 not exactly. I'm, you know, I I don't feel envious to be. I don't I don't like to be in, in the continuously in the mass media. Yes, I mean when I'm of course when I'm releasing a movie, well, this is part of the promotion, but it's not exactly the part that I love. So uh, I mean I, I disappear completely between movie and movie, and uh, I don't miss that part. Um, I mean, yes, to be forgotten is really something very strong. <laughs> but uh, I don't. I don't have that feeling. No, I'm, I'm more. I mean, I'm more scared about uh, not to be enough passionate about the story that I'm writing, mm -hmm. because I need to feel that passion. Mm -hmm. If I don't feel it, uh, I don't do. I, I cannot do any, any movie because that was a, a sentiment that I that I have always, and that was the mark. I mean, the sign for me. To make this movie and not other one, yeah. so what I'm, I am afraid is just not to feel that passion anymore. Mm -hmm. And you know, we talked about getting old in the movie industry. I want to ask you about getting older in general. You discuss it a lot in the movie. Is that something that you feel every day? That that, that constant struggle and, and fear of getting old, trying to maybe avoid age, avoid time. Perdón, que me quede. Sí. Eh, aparte de, del cine, es y eso de envejecer es algo que, que es un problema para ti con todo lo que puede conllevar. Yeah. Sí, bueno, before I, I didn't say that that there are many many old directors, yeah. I mean Clint Eastwood, Martin Scorsese, yeah. Ken Loach, that yeah. uh, Woody Allen, that they are beyond uh, the eighties. So they are a good example for me. So, so it's, it's, it is easier for a director than for one actor, as I told you. But also, yes, I'm, I'm very frightened about uh, the physical pain and the physical losses uh, of capacity. And uh, because it, it's part of our nature, but I don't accept it like that. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm an atheist, so I don't have any support. So I feel really very very frail 
a, a very fragile or fragile, how you say that? Fragile, yeah. Fragile. Uh, against these, these, these kind of incapacities that comes with AIDS. So um, it seems to me that I will be an angry old man. <laughs> and this is bad. <laughs> but I will be angry. Angry against, I don't know what, against our nature. Uh, one final question, if I may. I'm just I'm curious to hear your opinion. I hope you'll be uh, uh, willing to answer. I know that you're very active in, in politics. You have very strong opinions in politics. And well, the normal, I mean, I mean, just like, like a citizen, yeah, like but, a but, normal citizen. But we saw what happened to, in Spain in the last elections, the far right getting into the parliament, first time since the days of Franco. How do you feel about what's happening in Spain and all over the world? Oh, this is a no for reality. And in Spain, you know, for the first time, we have a, an ultra-right party. So, and, they, they, so, and that was very bad news. Uh, we were not accustomed to that. And uh, I think that Trump has a lot of influence in these crazy people that wake up one day and listen that someone is saying these awful things about, about the life of the citizens. And so they start doing the same. So it's, it's a, uh, it, I think it's part of the imitation of, uh, or the worst part of, of Trump politis, politics. So for us, it was, I mean, we have very recent memories of, the, of our civil war. And, the, and I was very frightened because it was not clear what, the, what happened with the election. Yeah. I mean, I mean I'm, I'm a, a left citizen, so my vote, it was always uh, for the left. But I was not sure about the strength of, uh, of the left parties. They are more than one. Fortunately, I think that Spain reacts in the best way now. So um, I got the feeling that we are in front of four years, much better than the last four years. So uh, no, so I'm, I'm happy and I can breathe uh, with the result of the election. So now we have more election for Europe and also the municipales, how yeah, you say? Yeah, municipal. yeah, municipals. And still, there is the impression that the left will keep on being at the, at the in the town. I mean, in in, in the, the community in of Madrid, which is also very important. Thank you very much. I appreciate. You're welcome. Thank you very Thank very you. much. It was a pleasure.